Well, the Lone Star State turning out to vote in record numbers with nearly 886,000 Texans casting ballots. It is the highest voter, early voter turnout in a non-presidential election year in state history. But is this a good sign for Republicans who are fighting tooth and nail to hold on to every single seat? Joining me now with reaction is former Cruz campaign pollster Chris Wilson. Chris, thank you very much for joining us again this morning. You bet, Heather. What we talked about yesterday was all of the early voting. You just heard some of the numbers there. But specifically, uh, more Democrats voted early than Republicans. And that's the first time that's happened, I understand, in a, uh, a primary or a midterm election there in Texas since 2002. But turns out that didn't help them out so much. Well, it also ended up not being the case. Remember yesterday we talked about those numbers were only from the top 15 counties. There were 239 more counties left to report. Well, guess what? Whenever those 239 counties reported, Republicans took a huge lead in the early vote and ended up outvoting Democrats overall by 500,000. It's as I talked about uh, that Democrats, for the really the first time in a long time, ran a concerted early vote absentee ballot campaign. So they were able to push a lot of their their election day votes and kind of cannibalize them and make them early voters. But when it came came down to it on election day, this blue wave ended up being just like a splash up against your ankles and really it did not, it failed to materialize with Republicans taking what an, an historical lead in terms of overall vote cast. So it just ended up being a splash around your ankles, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but uh, some of the big names, uh, 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 Senator Ted Cruz, he mm -hmm. won easily, also Governor 85%. Greg Abbott won easily, 90%, 90%. Uh, but he's yeah. facing a runoff between the two Democrats, right? He is. When you look at each one of these races, they kind of all they they fall into their own category. I mean, any blue wave that would have been possible would have had, would have run right up against the governor's campaign. And in full disclosure, I actually I also work for Governor Abbott, but and Governor Abbott has forty one million dollars in the bank, and he's not afraid to spend it. He's going to run a very aggressive campaign to make sure that Texas stays red. So from that standpoint, and then you've got Lupe Valdez and Andrew Wright, White going into a runoff. So they still got to fight it out for a few more weeks, while Governor Abbott can now start preparing for the November general election and beginning to turn out votes and making sure that uh, that there's no sort of drop off as we move into November. Mm -hmm. And then really the biggest disappointment I think for Democrats has got to be Beto O'Rourke. He was seen as their big hope. He was raising a lot of money. He was going to bring voters out to the polls. And not only did it not materialize, he did 17 points wet, lower than Wendy Davis did four years earlier when she was supposed to be the big uh, Democrat hope running against Greg Abbott. And so, and his real weakness is, if you look at his uh, percentage in Hispanic counties, he ended up losing 20 20 of the most major, the most Hispanic counties in the state, showing that running against Hispanic Ted Cruz, he's going to have real challenges. And I think it gives Republicans an opportunity in Texas to win the Hispanic vote, which hasn't happened since 1998. And then Texas GOP uh, land commissioner results, uh, George P. Bush, 58.1%. Uh, it, you know, it's it's probably less interesting uh, than it would be just because he is who he is. He's Jeb Bush's son. Uh, he was challenged to a, sort of an interesting uh, situation by the guy who'd had the office before him and got, tried to run for attorney general and lost. So he went to go try and take that land commissioner uh, office back and say, oh, it's a Bush dynasty thing. I should have this office back. I, I think if minus the Bush name, this wouldn't have gotten a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. And he really did win comfortably when it came down to it. There were other candidates in the race. All right. We'll see if similar things happen as we move forward into the midterm election year. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Chris. Appreciate you it. Bet. Thank you, Heather.